Hey guys, can you hear me alright? So, we have here our lovely Opus 3 box, and more importantly, a fresh cup of tea. Most important thing of all. So, how is everybody doing? Right. I suppose the best thing to do, really, is just to sort of jump straight in, because then we've got something to talk about. So... Let's jump in. How is everybody? How are Toto, JC, JC and uh, Artie? How are you all doing? I got up in the morning for this. <laughs> I don't normally stream in the morning. Like, I'm not a morning person at all. And I've not put any music on because I wanted to uh, make sure that I could upload this to YouTube later. So, <laughs> if I put any music on, then uh, it's going to end up looking kind of... Well, I'm not going to be able to post anything because obviously uh, licensing for music and stuff. So, if you're watching this, if if you're watching this later on YouTube, then it's because uh, I've obviously added music into it. But, oh, thank you. I worked really hard on the template, actually. Right, there we go. Hacks. So let's just jump straight in. Use the monitor to keep the lid open. That's a good idea. And then, um, so what are we hoping for before I start opening these? What are we hoping for? I'm. I mean, personally. The cards I'm chasing, I mean, let's be frank, if you've, you've all seen my YouTube channel, I, I, I'm after Kuja. I want me some Kuja. Uh, like, he is my bae and always has been. Um, I also really want Garnet in this set. I think she's really, really good. Um, Delita is something I would like, don't get me wrong. Like, it's not the first thing. Oh, thank you very much for following me, Kobe. That's very, very kind. Um, I, I don't actually care about Deleter all that much. Like, I think he's very good, but he's not the first thing that I'm going to play, because I've played Earth in, like, the last two sets, and I really don't want to play Earth again. So I'm going to play something different this time around. 5am? Oh, wow, time difference is a bitch. <laughs> well, thank you for joining us then, OT-Dub. I oh, really appreciate it. But, right, let's get this first pack open. I actually think, like, the hero cards are the ones I'm excited about. Like, I want Seador. I want, um... Dorgan, Dorgan's good, right, so, WRO Commander, well, you kind of smell, 2am there, bloody hellfire, oh, I suppose it is, yeah, you're in Vegas, yeah, so, so I, to be honest, I actually miss you guys over in Vegas a hell of a lot, and I wish I could come back tomorrow, but I've actually got to get there first, got one in draft, and they've got, yeah, <laughs> Type zero deck. Um, well, type zero, you kind of want to start with. Um, you're bloody hell, I'm being overwhelmed today. Thank you, JC, for following. But um, a deuce. Well, we've seen her in the starter deck already. Ninja. Uh, I, I'm not a huge fan of this. It's okay, but oh, thank you very much for following again, there, uh, Team Chocobo. This I quite like. Black Waltz. Uh, when it enters the field, choose a forge your opponent controls, it loses a thousand power for every card in your hand. I can see this getting played maybe in a um, lightning water deck, but it's a forward with an EX burst. So it's something that's a big deal. Oh, thank you. Well, you missed me too. I, I wish I believed you. <laughs> I'm sure people don't even think about me over there anymore, but no, thank you very much for saying that. I, pre I appreciate it. Brandelis is really cool. Kazuza. Oh, this is like, it's just a backup that drops cards out of hand. Queener. I much prefer the artwork on this Queen. Like, I just don't like the stock artwork that's just screenshots. It just it, like, it bothers me. But I kind of think that like he, he fills out or she fills out the card a lot, lot nicer this time. Okay, so we have a Sice. And then the next card will be the Foil. And it's an Easy Oi, which is a rare. Okay, so when Easy Oi enters the field, you replay a Job Ninja or Card Name Ninja for cost three or less from your hand into the field. Illusions. So choose up to four, two forwards. They can't attack or block this turn. She doesn't suck, you know. She actually doesn't suck. She's pretty good. So foil can go there. Okay, wind drake. I actually really like this card. Really like this. What do I think the next element elements for the next big tournament? Lightning is still going to be a thing. Lightning is at the at this point in time. Lightning is just very very strong, and there's no way that it it's just not going to do well. But um, I think Earth is creeping up there. Ice is also going to start doing a lot. Um, I was considering building a lightning ice, but then I saw online that everyone's kind of doing it, and I'm like, oh, well, maybe, I, I'm a massive hipster, I like to play, like, not quite meta. Water, I actually think, will increase in usage quite a lot as well, because it has a lot of power boosters now, like it has Cecil from last set, Seador and Garnet from this set, there's a lot that water can do. But there's, this card makes me really happy, because it allows you to dodge board wipes, and it's still on the curve. I think this Windrake is actually something that people could be looking out for. Uh, Yang. Shiva. I don't like the Shiva very much at all. But this, on the other hand, I do like. Zalera, I think, it, you know, at absolute worst, 
it's an Odin. It's a four cost, kills a guy. At best, you're board wiping your opponent. I think this card is just really good. It wasn't actually me that said that, someone else said that to me online the other day, and I actually think they're absolutely right. I would love Mono Win to be a thing too, but unfortunately, wings forwards are still a bit too weak for my liking. They're just like. I mean, they've got a lot of good tricks and stuff like that, but it, unfortunately, you kind of have to rely too heavily on, um, you know, the, the, the tricks. They're too gimmicky for my liking. The Shiva's. I don't like that Shiva because I prefer the Opus 1 Shiva. I think she's okay. But I think I prefer the Opus 1 Shiva because it has the EX burst, whereas this doesn't. And there's too many choices when it comes in, um... When it comes to... Summons, you kind of have... You, you're, you're restricted on your choices. You need to have, like, Matthias in there. The Opus 1 Shiva is still very good. Yes, you're right, the Shiva does make Zalera work better. But obviously, if you're running... How many summons do you plan on running at the end of the day? There's Shiva, Zalera, Matthias... Oh, you can't see it there. You know, Matthias... In fact, give me two seconds because I'm gonna make the lighting work a little bit better because that light is shining directly on the cards. That's better. Much better. But my, my reason for Shiva is not that I think that she's bad, I just think that it, there's a lot of good summons under ice and I just don't think there's room for her. But I'm happy to be wrong at the end of the day. I don't think that my opinion is necessarily correct. I'm absolutely 100% happy to be wrong. So if everyone thinks that she's really good, play her. <laughs> you know, don't take my word for account. Right, second booster. Time Mage. Now, I actually really like this Time Mage because it's a dodge effect and it's really, really good um, with interplay effects. I think that, like, you know, if Sephiroth ever does come into Vogue, it's going to be because of this card. Uh, your common, right. This bard was in my last video. I really, really like, like it. Um, it, it you know, I, I think that fire needs a lot more forwards. You're jealous of my nail? Have you seen my fingers? Are you, are you actually joking? <laughs> the first time I think anyone's ever said that to me, because I have, like, zombie fingers. Mine are terrible. <laughs> um... I, I like buying booster boxes, but that's because I like to support stores. I'm not a person that buys singles. I'm very old school. I buy booster boxes, I trade, and I'm not a salesman. I, it's just not the way I work. But, you know, I'm probably not the best judge of character for that kind of thing. Um, I don't think it replaces Selfie completely, but I do think the card is very good. I think it's too early to tell, like, what's going to change and what does. Um... Not a big fan of this. A lot of people seem to really like this, but I think it requires too much kind of magical Christmas land. You have three copies of this card in your hand, and I still really like Seraphie. Um, Mog, I really, really want to play more of this card. I actually think it's really good. I'm probably going to build a deck that uses this. Uh, Ursula's cool. Thief is just, like, generic. It's just more mill. Like, but it kills itself to do it. It's, it's interesting. Uh, the WRO members I'm not really very keen on. Common, a foily common bard. I'm happy with that. Edward, I really like this Edward. And a lot of people I've spoken to actually don't like this. And I can understand why. It's because until Edward has used his ability kind of three or four times, it is actually kind of a negative on you. But it's very much a War of Attrition card. And I really like that. You know, it's that kind of thing. So Edward is a card that I actually really like. Zangetsu... Uh, I don't like cards that require you to have other cards, especially if they're not particularly powerful ones like Edge. So I don't think I'm ever going to play this. Amaranth. Uh, well, we've already seen him in the starter deck and we know that he's not bad. And Adorgan. That's a card I wanted because this guy is insane. Tap, remove him from the game, remove a guy from the game. This card is absolutely fantastic and something that Wind desperately needed. Right. Dorgan is so good. I, I, like, I, that is part of why I want to run Wind. I was looking at Ice and Wind because I think that um, Old Kuja, New Zidane, um, Dorgan, there's lots of like tech plays you play, but it might be a bit slow. Um, yes, oh, so more followers. Thank you very much. <laughs> um, Dorgan is brilliant at dealing with Delita. I said that in my last video. The knight. Oh, I want to say the. Um, I don't know if you guys have noticed, but I, this was one of the cards that I changed up into one of the Brave Exvius main characters. I, have you seen my paintings? Let me. I was going to say before I carry. I'm going to quickly show you because I have a few of them here. I've done quite a lot of them now, actually. Look. Yeah. Look. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 
So yeah, I've done quite a few of them now. But that was just a quick kind of a uh, showing off little, uh, little little side projects. Right. Okay. So Semblance of a Gunslinger. He's okay. He's not. He's not bad. Uh, Mystic Knight. Not keen on this. It's. It's. This doesn't do a lot. Black Chocobo. I don't really like any of the Chocobos. Perfectly honestly. This bitch, however, is amazing. She's really good. Really good. Like. Um, it, it's. She's on the curve. She's. All, she's basically Lan, but arguably stronger. But she doesn't have a searcher. She's very very cool. I haven't thought about uh, Record Keeper and um, Mobius. I was say like, oh hi. <laughs> um, yeah, I was say I, I really really like Imaginary Brawler. I've never played Mobius and Record Keeper. I've been interested in Record Keeper because I'm very old school with these things. I like them old school. Dancer, nah. Berserker, uh, mm, no. Still no. Like anything that's like she's slightly above the curve, but has a negative ability. She has to attack every turn. I just think that it's too easy to kill her, and I'd rather just pay more into something that's more useful. Black Wolf's too. That's just um. Yeah, I actually quite like this as a one-off um, because it can deal lots and lots of damage to something very quickly. Uh, the girl who forgot her name. It's a searcher. Searchers are always good. Uh, Shelk. Not not feeling this one. It's it, like if, if I was going to play this ability, I would just play um, probably the old Edward, but I probably wouldn't do that. Oh well, tell me tell me more about. Um, Record Keeper, because I am interested in it. Okay, so Fanfret, I really like this card. I think it's really, really strong. It's just one of those cards that um, you're never going to be unhappy to see it unless you're behind, which is a problem. But I do think the card is still good. And uh, Phoenix, yeah, mm -hmm. <laughs> not a big fan of this one. I don't really think... I think Fire got kind of shafted again in this set, quite honestly. But, oh, thank you very much for following me, Castless. Um... Oh, so I must be getting close to 200, 200 followers now. Wow. Uh, oh, well, thank you for coming coming and having a look, Team Chocobo. I appreciate it. Um, so, yeah, Phoenix, I just don't think it's particularly good, honestly. You know, flustered. There's too much going on. Oh, it wasn't all the bravest, like, absolutely terrible. Okay, so that's um, Gilgamesh's uh, mannequin. That's the word. Mm, probably won't play that. Knight again. Mystic Knight again. Black Chocobo again. Cannoneer. Uh, put Cannoneer in the break zone. Choose two forwards. Deal them 5k damage. Nah. Kazuza. So who... I like... Okay, I mean, when I play... Well, I, I'm actually thinking about starting to stream Brave Exvius because I've spent an ungodly amount of money on it. <laughs> Not something I'm particularly proud of, but I've done really well with it. Thank you very much for following me, James. Yeah. <laughs> I still never quite get over saying people's gamer tags or, like, online names uh, on like out loud. It always makes me giggle slightly inside. Sice. Okay, Lightning Cannoneer and Foil. So, Lightning 1, Dull, choose Cannoneer and a backup other than Cannoneer and deal something 7k. No. No. No, thank you. Windrake again. Yang again. Porum. I actually quite like Porum. I think she's not bad. She's a bit weak, but... Oh, it's the wrong white tiger, let's see. It's the wrong one. <laughs> the other one's so good. But, okay, never mind. Okay, we've not really seen anything, like, particularly huge yet. What is going on over here? Um, next booster. Let's see what we've got here. Okay. Vivi. I think the strongest Vivi, honestly, is the starter deck one. I really like the starter deck Vivi. I think it's really, really strong. Um, but this one is just okay. Whereas the other one is much, much better. Blue Mage. Choose a, put a Blue Mage in the break zone. Choose a forward cost 5 or higher. Put it into its owner's hand. I would just play Mog over this, honestly. Speak of the devil. Uh, Imina. I, this interests me because um, Kazuza and Kurosame I don't think are particularly good cards. But when you make them one cheaper, they suddenly become like a lot better. Uh, FFRK is Final Fantasy Record Keeper. It's one of the phone games. Um, Gladiator, that was what I ended up painting one of the FFBE characters into. Summoner, I, I, I kind of like stole a couple of the commons from people who were in pre-release. Um, Izana as a Chocobo Searcher. Ah, oh, finally, we get something. We're getting somewhere. That's better. We like this guy. I think this guy is actually fantastic. 
There's so many things that you can do with him. For each category, for uh, FF Tactics Forward you control, which includes a lot of the standard units, which I'd forgotten to... Like, I didn't even realise that until very recently. I'm like, oh, all oh, the standard units are like that. You could play, like, a Dragoon Freya Knight weird hybrid, and it could be really fun. Like, I'm not sure how competitive it would be, but I think it'd be really silly and cool. But that, that we are happy with. So, that can go there. Uh, Angeal Penance. Yeah, he's, he's alright, I guess. King. I actually really like King. I think he's a finisher for, um, for Type 0 decks. Tsukinawa, uh, again, requires Edge to be any good. Now, usually when I pull a foil legend, I'll pull a second legend in the same pack. Let's see if we manage that again, shall we? Egg, oh, no. Never mind. <laughs> it's not a bad card, but unfortunately I'd much rather just run the Searcher. It's not a great card either, really. Water Lightning standard units with... water. Yeah, Water Warrior of Light, Ramza, Kane, Freya, there's loads of things that you could just do so that they can't deal with every bo power booster you have. Cecil, Seador, etc, etc. I did jinx it, yeah. Never mind. I mean, Ram's is also really good with Earth Deleter, and that's just a thing. But, okay, right. Ranger. I think this guy's actually really good. Like, 3 drop, 7k, so 1 curve, and can't be targeted by abilities. Yeah, I'd play this. This is decent for a standard unit. Um, for, for speak of the devil, Freya. Because... I think that because you could make some weird kind of hybrid deck, if you can get Dragoons out, because there are some decent Dragoons. Oh yeah, Refia. Refia is also a thing. Uh, there are some decent Dragoons, like Ricard, Kane. Uh, like, they're not amazing, but they're good. And her ability is a board wipe. You know, that could be a thing. I'm not saying it's going to be consistent or super competitive, but it's like I like to try and give every card a chance, basically. Um, a lot of people like this unit. I don't. I don't think it's particularly great. All it does is kind of rig a summon to the top of your deck to try and stop a you know stop stop your opponent from attacking you. But unless it's a summon you actually want in your turn, I don't really want it. Black Watch three again. Mystic Knight again. Uh, Deep Ground Soldiers. I'm not ever going to play these. I don't think. Uh, Lenora. No, it's the foil of the wrong Lucy again. <laughs> no. <laughs> Um, anyway, I really like this guy. Really like this guy. Uh, he's, um, any anything that removes cards from the game, I really like. Morning! <laughs> How you doing? Um, anything, like I said, Yuna is one of my favourite cards from Opus 1. I said that in my last video. I think it anyway, was, like, a really good one of in a lot of decks. Uh, Geku. Um, more ninja stuff. Why is there so much ninja things? Steiner, with much nicer artwork. Thank you very much. Much happier with that. And a Seador. This is a card I actually did want. I'm happy with this. Um, it's just... It gives water a lot of offensive pressure. Between Seador, Garnet, and Cecil, you can just make your guys really big really quickly. And because there's enough units now, you probably could forgo the forward Waka, despite the fact that he's really good to play the backup one, so that you can actually benefit from the water booster now. Um, okay. Oh, you are correct. Yeah, Geku can be used to place ninjas on the uh, backup slots as well. That's not bad. Hmm. Yeah, the, the, there aren't... There's not much going for them, but it's still something worth bearing in mind for the future, because they're always going to release more ninjas. Now, I'm happy with the Seador. Okay, what have we got next? Okay, so, Gunslinger. Ranger. Another Imaginary Brawler. Summoner. Queener. Berserker. Cloud. I actually really like this cloud. I think he's really. I th actually think he's one of the strongest clouds we have. Really strong. Oh no, that's all right. I'll be fine. I don't. I never use play mats to be honest. I design my own. In fact, I should probably be using that as the surface that I'm playing on. But hey ho. <laughs> um, cloud is really really good. Foily Ursula, sure. Shiva again. Angel again. Quacho Queen. I really should finish playing World of Final Fantasy at some point. Choose a forward, it gains 1,000 power for each forward. That's not bad, actually. I quite like that. I mean, if I get, if you were to pick me one up, I certainly wouldn't sniff at it, because it would be nice. But, like, you know, all of these things are nice. And another Ramza. Oh, well, all right. Apparently, I'm having an FF Tactics box. But, you know, it's always a bit disappointing when, uh, when you pull the same legend twice. But, hey, it happens. Uh, the only reason I don't want you to go and buy me, buy an extra mat, JC, is because I couldn't afford to pay you back for it. Basically, uh, like this, the fact that I have a box, like you know, all of these things with uh, 
with cards and stuff is like I don't, I don't have the hugest amount of money yet, but I haven't actually even seen it. But I would like I'd like to. So I mean, you have to send me a link or something. All right, Black Mage, no. Uh, Seguarides. He's he's okay. Oh, the Brandelis combos are quite cool. Oracle. Mm, it's this isn't terrible. Like actually, all characters you control. I actually quite like this. It's your backups and your forwards. So it's like this actually is quite good. Ursula again, Cannoneer again, Artemisian. I really like this when the starter deck comes out, and I, uh, you know, I don't really see a use for it now. It's still a really good card, I just don't play it. Yeah, I'll say, that's that's 20 bucks I probably couldn't give you back, darling, so I really, really wouldn't worry too much. Um, but if you want to get one, I, I you know, thank you, but I'm I, I, just warning you, I don't have a lot of money right now. This queen is so much better than the other one. So much better. Like, I mean, it's, she's actually an offensive threat, which makes me happy. Uh, Foily Freya. Girl, I forgot her name. Shulk. Enuo. And an Ultima. Oh, okay, well, that's something I actually wanted. It's not foil, but I'm still happy with it. Actually, do you know what? While you've got that up, I can have a quick look at the, the map. Oh, it's a World of Final Fantasy map. Oh, that is quite cool. That is kind of cool. I will think about it. I will think about it. <laughs> right, okay. It's cute. I like it. Right, so, Summoner. This Summoner's really good again. Summoner and Rydia are both really, really good in this set. Because they both just grab summons from different places. Because they're not colour restricted, which I really like. So, Red Mage, this is not good. She's fantastic. Really fantastic. Like, it was it was clo it was was really close. Like, I actually still think the Garland is really good, but if it wasn't him that I would have picked for my um, Fire Forward, it would have been her. She's brilliant. Um, you know, they're forcing your opponent to... Um, you're more than welcome to run one of my decks, darling. Uh, she's, she's prompting your opponent to force blocks is just really strong. And people played Begamnon last set, and he's not that great, so... Okay, Oracle... Deep Grand Soldier, Cloud, Summoner. Oh, that's cool, a foil starter card. Those are always nice. Uh, yep, Diabolos. Black Tortoise, Let's see Gilgamesh. Yeah, this, this, if five drops, see, no, the, the Cloud is just better than this. It does basically the same thing, but it's a three CP 7K guy, which is just much better. I do think Sank is one of the best cards. Honestly, if I could go back in time, I probably would have put Sank there instead of Garland. Honestly, but I mean, hopefully people will see this video uh, when it goes up on uh, goes up online, and they'll see that I actually kind of regret putting Garland there, and I kind of wish I put either Sank or Cloud in his slot instead. Genesis. There we go. That's another card that I liked. I don't know how many of this guy I would run simply because this and this are not my favourite thing. Oh well, thank you very much. Um, I was just saying, go get your pizza. Have a good day at work. And then I, I was like, I really, uh, it was really nice to kind of have you here. So, definitely come back again sometime. Am I putting rares in my comment? Oh, see, thank you. Thank you for appealing to my, um, my OCD nature. I was, because I'm talking. I was, because I'm talking, I can't notice what I'm doing. So, thank you for saying me that. Right, okay. Time Mage again. Sky Pirate Replica. This guy's not bad either. When he attacks, choose a backup you control and activate it. This guy is partly why I like Edward as much as I do. Because I think that if you can um, activate Edward twice in a turn, that's a thing. Um, it's Ephemeral Summoner, Imaginary Brawler, Harley. No, I don't like Edward that much that I would like pay a player card just to make him cheaper. Pelinor, Yuffie. This is the card that everyone's like... Also, it's funny that you should mention the card that's hyping the Vincent promos right now. It's this. Yuffie's like... It's because she's free when you when you have a Vincent and your Vincent gets plus 1k in Brave, which turns promo Vincent into an 8k Brave attacker for 3, which isn't bad, and you can just slap her down for free. Or 4-drop Vincent into a, nine, a 9k for, um, 9K Brave attacker for 4. That's It's probably her. Uh, Foily Diabolos. Gecko. Diabolos. Black Tortoise, let's see. Palom. I really love the artwork on this. Really like the artwork on this one. Uh, if a forward is dealt damage, it's dealt a thousand more. It's like, yeah, okay. I I, I think I prefer Porum to Palum, but you know, I, I don't think either of them are going to see that much play. But you know, I like him. I like the artwork on them both. The artwork, uh, the after years artwork is actually just generally very nice. As is the Lords of Vermilion artwork, and um, there's lots of that. So Freya, 
Summoner. I think we can start skipping through all the commons now, because we've probably seen them all. Yeah, Vincent's aren't too bad here. Like, are they a particularly, um... Are they particularly expensive outside of the UK or outside of the EU then? Because Vincent's, I, I mean, I've probably got a few. I've, I've certainly got a fair, fair few of those. Uh, Dancer, D, uh, Deep Grand Soldier, Zangetsu Foil, King, Tsukinawa, Eiko, Minerva. I really, really like this card. Really like it. I think in a War of Attrition game, which is the kind of decks I like to play, as I've said multiple times, this is a fantastic endgame card. I'd only play it in Ice, realistically, because I think that um, you need to play like White Tiger, or maybe Earth, maybe Earth as well, but I think you need to play White Tiger Lassie or um, Carbuncle in order to truly keep control of it. But... I was, I'm just going to see if I can change the focus on this camera a little bit. Because it's not like bad or anything. But I'm just going to see if I can do anything with it. There we go. That's probably a bit better. Okay. Let's continue. Yeah, no. I, I wouldn't be able to travel to nationals. Uh, US nationals. Certainly not. Oh, wow. That's crazy. Uh, Canadier. Deuce. Deuce is still quite good. She's not. She's she's got potential for a backup that could just outright kill things. I think the trouble the wind has is that it's always like um, pigeonholed into certain things. The cadets cards. Uh, I'm not a big fan of them, honestly. But uh, I, I just probably wouldn't play them. Black Mage, Izana, Harley, Artemisian, Foil and Geal Penance. Well, that's not the worst foil in the world. Katabashtar. This guy's weird because he, when he, his EX burst triggers from when he attacks, which means that an EX burst is literally just you would get this effect um, regardless of when it would trigger upon being attacked as well. So it's like you know, a lot of people had a lot of frustrations with the Sephiroth that was spoiled a while ago, which I haven't pulled any of yet. This one um, because it's you get the EX burst when he dies uh, as opposed to um, when it comes into play. So regular Angeal. He's, he's okay. Um, Ace, I I don't think I'd play this Ace. I think he's okay. Like, um, Well, I might do, actually, because of the top ability, but the bottom ability, I think, is a bit trash. Like, just having a guy that makes all your other Ace, your zero, plus zero forwards, get a thousand power, it's okay. Oh, thank you very much for following, Craze Carl. You'll say, you're actually only one follower away from 200. That's really cool. I'll say, because I've not been streaming for very long, and this is it's really, really gratifying, and I just need to find ways to diversify what I'm doing, because it's like, I'm still learning here. Feral Chaos. Feral Chaos, I think, is a really, really cool card. Um, I'm not sure how much play he's going to actually see, because it's way too dangerous to play this guy. Like, unless you can definitely protect your other cards, you'll end up losing half of your stuff to him. And he's like, oh, you know, Trample isn't a thing in... In FF, so you can still block him and throw guys in the way because you're only losing as much as he is. So if you can generate more advantage than him, he like it's it's one of those swings and roundabouts cards. If you can generate more um, advantage than your opponent playing Feral Chaos, then he'll do a lot of work for you. But if your opponent outpaces you, he's just a dead card in your hand. And being dark, you can't discard him. And I think that's one of the most important things with light and dark cards. Yes, Gold Bears Chaos is value. If you're willing to play the 6 CP guy, then the 5 CP guy, and you have to do a Gold Bears early if you're going to do it. I much prefer doing it with Kefka. It's it's cool, but it's like I, it, there's a lot to do it. Oh, I have hit 200. Ah! Oh, I thought I would say my, my little sharp is, uh, wasn't there in military, but oh, well, there we go. That's something nice that I can say happened today. Thank you very much, everybody. <laughs> Red Mage, Cannoneer, Oracle, Deep Grand Soldier, Lenora, Cannoneer, WRO member, and a foil ship. Joe, you know what? While I don't think the Shiva I like all that much, in foil, she pretty. Like, girl, you pretty. I like I like the artwork on that a lot. The Dissidia artwork from the new one is just so good. Which reminds me, actually, I might have a little present for some people soon regarding Dissidia because uh, I had friends that went to Evo and they were very, very helpful to me. So once I work out how to do giveaways on Twitch, if somebody wants to enlighten me on how to do that, then I will definitely be starting to you know, distribute some more things amongst people. I'm also probably going to do some giveaways on YouTube as well with this set, maybe the starter decks as well. Something like that. Yeah, Fanfrit and Goldbear. It's, you know, going back on subjects, you know, rambling on. Fanfrit and Goldbears is something I definitely like more. Uh, God, I've got a name. Shelk. Anyway. Kelga. Oh, he's one of the Dawn Warriors. Um, six drop 8k. 
Haste. When Kelgar enters the field, we play a job Dawn Warrior from your hand onto the field. S, he gains 6,000 power at the end of the turn. I don't see the Dawn Warriors being that much of a thing, except for Dorgan, because he's good on his own. I didn't actually watch much of Evo. I really should have done. I watched some of the highlights later, and uh, I was just asleep for half of it, to be honest. I really wanted to watch it. Like, loads of my friends... Like, loads of my friends were there, and I just got upset, because I, like, I would love to go to Evo. I would love to, but I'm never in Vegas at the time that it's on. Um, okay, the Knight, Simulacrum, Horror, Oracle, Black Mage, Cater. She's kind of pants for a Type 0 Kai. Dragoon, Seguara Des Foil, Cater, Angeal, Fanfrit, Exodus. This card is interesting. Very interesting. Select a number, your opponent selects a number, break all forwards a cost equal to those numbers. Like, hmm, hmm, not sure on this one. Thank you for very much for following Daggeril. Oh yeah, I've, I've heard that you, that you guys got delays on your Opus 3, that's really upsetting. Well, I've, obviously I've got a lot of friends over in the US and it's not, not nice to know that you guys have had to wait. But, um... I wish I could just go over there and distribute loads myself, but obviously it doesn't work that way. Bard, Ranger, WRO member, Deep Ground Soldier, Deep Ground Soldier, White Mage, Dancer, Kurasami. Yeah, like, this, like I said, this guy's kind of pants, except if you can make him cost four, he's not too bad. Yes, thank you very much for also saying that on about the follower goal. Yeah, I was going to say, we're just going to have to tick it up and then keep going. Open packs vicariously through Joe. <laughs> Ace. Seven, this guy's still good. Seven's still really, really good. And I like the artwork. Even though it's a screenshot one, I actually like the artwork on this one. Oh, thank you very much for following. Oh, so, okay. Sorry, I'm just hard to keep up with everything at the minute. Steiner, Brandellis. Um, Brandellis searches the field, you may search for a card named Seguarades or Pelinor at your hand. And if you can, for each one of them you control, it gains a thousand power. Knight. Knight is why I care about this. It's like, and as long as you can, it's an EX burst searcher for something that powers him up, like, quite significantly. If you have Pelinor and Seguarides, he's actually not bad. And as somebody who can search, that's, that's, it can be quite threatening. I'm thinking maybe Earth Wind, where you play, like, or maybe Earth Water, where you can play the power boosters as well. I, I don't, I don't hate, um, Brandellis. I think he's actually okay. Okay, I'm a bit, I'm a little bit light on the old... Legends at the moment, which is a bit upsetting. All I've had is those four. Only one of them's foil. Hopefully, it was. Oh, well, we've still got quite a way to go, so let's keep going. Oh, more followers! Yay! Thank you very much for following. Uh, time age. Well, so I see, look, every time I get one of those followers, this is how you end up. Um, <laughs> you know, you throw me off because you keep pressing the follow button, and I'm just like, oh, deer in headlights moment. Gladiator, Queen, Deep Ground Soldier, Foil Summoner, Seven, Rydia, she's, oh, Seven goes there. Rydia's very, very good. Oh, Kudmi's only a rare. I thought she was a hero. Well, that makes things better. <laughs> oh, no, don't be sorry. It's funny. <laughs> and Galef, uh, Galef. Galef. <laughs> if you have a five drop 9k, if you have four or more cards in your hand, gains 2k power. If you have five or more cards in your hand, gains Brave. Not bad. I think there's better five drops in Earth. Like... He's not terrible, but Deleter is a thing, and there's just, uh, Prish is a thing if you're really, really that way inclined. I don't, I just don't think there's better cards than him. He's not bad, but there's better. Deuce, Deuces, WRO, Dancer, Black Mage, WRO, Thief, Kazuza, Foil Vivi. Well, I know he's not that great, but look at this picture. Like, in Foil, I love it. I love it. Like yes, I'm I'm happy with this, even if everybody else wouldn't be. So, <laughs> um, he's again the issue with this VV is that he's just not very good, really. He's he, he, like he's too weak. He his S ability does as much damage to you as it does them. It's just a bit sad, really. But I'm happy I have him. Uh, Gecko, Diabolos, Black Tortoise, and a Sildra. That yeah, Sildra's nice. Sildra's an interesting one, because it's a summon that can be searched quite easily, because of Faris, and it's a double Leviathan, but it's not an EX burst double Leviathan, so I'm not sure how much play he'll actually see. Next one, Summoner, Bard, Geomancer, Cannoneer, Yuffie, Pelinor, Cater, 
Foil Zeromus. Um, this was in my video. I still don't know if I like this card or not. Because late game, it can do so much work. And obviously being an Earth card, you can play the whole Dark Knight strategies, of like Fasoya and such, and make it so that, you know, you could do some pretty crazy things. But if you see this early game, it's so dead. Like, it just does nothing. So I'm just, I'm really not sure about Zeromus. But I, I encourage people to test with him and tell me what they think. Because I'm not sure about him. Nine, Black Waltz, Easy Oi, and Sid Olstein. Um, no. No, I'm not feeling this. Five drop, 9k, EX burst, when he enters play, choose to forge your opponent controls. If they have no cards in their hand, break it. No, it's too easy. It's, it's too easy to get around him. Or well, to have a card in your hand. Yeah, no, you're probably right. Zero is possibly is a one-off if you're running Ridia. But I like old Ridia still. I think the, the last Ridia, everyone, like, because obviously this one's a searcher, but the last one was an EX burst. Okay. Time Mage. Summoner. Also, yes, it's very, very, um, yeah, I'll say, Earth Summoner into Sildra. Yeah, that's really good. Amina. Geomancer. Queena. Sice. Gladiator. Ooh. Oh, I'm happy with that. I mean, I love this sedan. Everyone knows how much I love um, Final Fantasy IX words. And obviously, this picture just works really well as a foil, so I'm actually really happy with that. The new Riku backup. There is no Riku in this set. Uh, Kata, Angeal, Ace, Garland. Well, Garland's a character. I've, I've already stated that I really like this card, so... Your opponent can break one of your forwards. Are you are you serious? Like they actually ruled it that way. Wow, that's terrible. If that I was gonna say, if, if that's been clear, if that if they if you as long as they can't break your forwards, then the cards are okay. If they can break your um yours, that's terrible. But if it can't, then great. I don't. If, if, surely that's not a design choice. Right. Semblance, Summoner, Dancer, Sank, Berserker, Mystic Knight, Dark Bureau Soldier, Foil Amaranth, it's nice to have the um, starter cards in foil, Ridia, Kunmi, Ridia, Kunmi, Nine, Guido, I love this, I really really like this, um, I don't think I'd ever run more than one of it, but I think it's absolutely terrifying if you get it off in the right place, so it can't activate during your untap phase or activate phase, but you can play a water to activate it. But this card single-handedly writes off so many things. Um, like, it's not very good at dealing with Deleter. Well, I mean, it is. It's not bad at it. I mean, to untap and kill itself to put Deleter back on top of their deck after they've paid for it, that's not bad. But I really am very interested to see how well this card does, because it could flounder. I don't know. But I really, really like it. I don't think it's ugly. I think it's quite nice. Ranger, Freya, can I have my Kuja now, please? Mog, Ninja, Dragoon, White Mage, Thief, a Foil Mystic Knight, woo. Don't even get me started on Beatrix. Do not even get me started. Uh, <laughs> back when Opus White, went in the uh, Square Enix tournament that I went to, I, and I, I don't know if you guys remember, but I did an interview with um, Kageyama, and he uh, he turned around and he said, uh, I said, where's my Beatrix? I need my Beatrix in my life. Um, he just turned around and goes, I was like, oh, well, maybe maybe Opus maybe Opus 3. Where is she now? <laughs> Where is she? Never mind. Rem, Atomos, Porum, and Gilgamesh. I'm not a big fan of that Gilgamesh. I think the old ones are just much better. <laughs> Right. Commander, Red Mage, Black Chocobo, Black Waltz, Lenora, Cloud, Summoner, Black Chocobo, woo. Black Waltz, Rem, Atomos, Jack. He's quite cool. I don't hate Jack. Um, one drop 7k, Jack can't block. When Jack attacks, Jack doesn't activate during your next active phase. S and Lightning activate Jack. He loses all his abilities until the end of the turn. The only reason I like this Jack is because of Wind. There's loads of ways to untap him other than his own ability. So I actually don't hate this card. I don't know how good it will be, but I don't hate it. Right. Oh, God damn it! <laughs> Thank you for keep calling me out on that, because otherwise I'll end up like losing half of my uncommons. 
where would I be without you guys? Bard, Ranger, Cannoneer, Mog, Summoner. This Summoner is the one that would combo very well with Sildra. Izana. No, it's... Uh, yeah. Izana, Artifician. A Foil Legend. It's a shame that I don't like her. Foil Prish. Six drop, 9k Brave. When she's put into the field from the break zone, you may play the Prish from your hand onto the field. S, double Earth, two. Choose a Dull Forward and break it. Um... Hmm... Not a big fan of that. It, she's she's not terrible, I guess. But, nah. Seven. Rydia. Fanfrit. Lena. Oh, well, there you go. It's a double legend pack. Lena's, Lena, I think, is really cool. But the fact that her it's, it's all about her S ability is... Um, the fact Because there's only one copy of Lena, which makes her a little inconsistent. And five drop 7k is a bit iffy. But... And the fact that it's water forward as well. It's like, well, what can you really bring back with Lena without her S ability. So I don't know whether I like her or not because she's going to be taking up the slots of things like Cecil who are already really good. And what's this link that you've sent me? If I can get to it. Huh. <laughs> You're sending me the Kuja sprite. Is he good in that? Because in Brave x -Fierce, he's not particularly good. Not yet anyway. He gets better but he's not particularly good. Yeah, Bra Bran would have been cool, actually. And Kai's. To be honest, for a set that's focused on FF9, there's not an awful lot of FF9 in it. Okay, so Horror of Antiquity, Semblance of a Gunslinger, Luca, Black Mage, WRO member, Cannoneer, Kazuza, Cannoneer, woo. Kurosame, Odin. This Odin's very, very good. Rubicante, and another legend, Aerith. I think I've actually... Is that all of my legends now? I think I'm due maybe one more. Maybe one more. So Lena, Aerith, Ramza, Ultima, Genesis, and then the three foils. That's not terrible so far. There's usually at least one. I, well, I, well, every box I've ever opened, there's usually at least one. Yeah, I was going to say, like, where's the good character from FF13 too, right? Freya, Korra, Ninja, Luca, Queen, Harley, Pelinor. Foily Steiner, that's a nice one. I'm happy with that. Kunmi, Nine, Porum, Zidan. I really like the Zidan. Somebody commented on my video and said that he was worthless because um, the other Zidan is better. The other Zidan's very, very good, but he's a light card. This one isn't. There's a big difference. Uh, so, and because, like I said in the video, having the ability to look at your opponent's hand and choose the card that gets discarded from it is a much, much better ability than your opponent discards a card. Okay, Kuja has Darkness 5... Okay, well, you're talking... <laughs> I've not played Record Keeper, so I don't actually know the mechanics of the game, so I'll just... I'll, I'll take your word for it. <laughs> I'm, I get I get my new phone next month, so I'll probably... And, like, I don't have a lot of memory on my phone, because my old... Well, my current phone broke, and I'm now borrowing an iPhone that I've been using for the last couple of months. Um, so, and then I'll go back... I'm going to go back to, like, uh, Android soon. No, I'm pretty sure he meant that one. Freya, Cannoneer... Ursula, Mystic Knight, Izana, Harley, Artemisian, a foil, Zezat. 5 drop, 8k first strike. If you control Galaf, Kelga, or Dorgan, he gains 1,000 power and brave. The Dawn, the Dawn Warriors are all too expensive. They're all too expensive. Oh no, I, I guess that you, I get that you can uh, link iPhone and Android accounts, but I don't have the memory on this phone to actually download Record Keeper right now. So I've only got to wait a couple of weeks before I get a new phone, so I'll do it then. Kurosame, Odin, Rubicante, Zack. Okay, sure. Um, no, it's not 14 legends a box, Jesus. It's usually six. <laughs> it's usually six or seven, depending on how many leg like foils you get. Um, Zack is uh, five drop, 8k. When he enters the field, all forwards you control get plus 2k power in Slender Turn. When he is put from the field to the break zone, you may search for a card named Cloud or cost four or less and add it to your hand or play it to the field dull. I really want to like Zack. But 8k 5 drop, that's iffy. I think the only way that I would play this is either in Firewater using Famfrit or in Fire Earth using Kefka. Or 3 drop Deleter. Because I, I do think that that's a lot of value you can get for that. But he just sees that a little bit too expensive. If I can get some more out of Legends out of this set, that'd be nice. Because I'm still missing my favourite one. Okay, Semblance of a Gunslinger, Blue Mage, Black Mage, Black Chocobo, Yuffie, Kata, Dragoon, Cannoneer, 
Black Waltz, Rem, Yizioi, Fame Mimic, Gogo. -Go. What do people think of this card, if you've seen it already? If, you, if your opponent doesn't control forwards, he dies. S, choose a forward, put it into break zone. You can only use it if he's been dealt damage this turn. It's interesting. It's really, and like, it's a really cool card. Yeah, Foil Kuja would be lovely right now, but honestly, with only... How many boosts have I got left? I have this one and eight more. I don't see it happening. I don't see it happening. I don't think I'm going to be that fortunate. I have terrible luck in card games. Terrible. Like, I don't ever get things that I like. <laughs> Blue Mage, Vivi, Black Chocobo, Mystic Knight, Sice, Queena, Berserker, Foil Izana, Woo... Barbariccia, Skarmiglione, Sephiroth, and Machina. 4 drop 8k when a forward damage by Machina is put from the field onto the break zone on the same turn. Choose the forward your opponent controls and deal it 4k damage. S, fire, 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 dull. Choose the forward your opponent controls, deal it 8k damage, and then deal 4, 4k damage to all of your opponent's other forwards. Maybe? Maybe. Probably not, though. Yeah, you could ping your own, you could ping your own um, go go. With, I didn't know. I was just trying to think of the different things that you can use to ping your own guy. That works. I, yeah, Ishtola probably is. Ishtola is probably the best way to do it. But yeah, water wind. More combos of water wind because wind can't go with anything else apparently. Vivi, Sky Pirate, Black Mage, Mystic Knight, WRO member, Deep Ground Soldier, White Mage, Foil Summoner, Atomos, Kurasame, Steiner, and Genesis Avatar. Uh, this I didn't think was particularly good when I felt, when I read it. 6 drop 9k, he also counts as Genesis. When he enters the field, deal damage equal to half of its power to all of the forwards your opponent controls, rounded up to the nearest 1000. So it's deal 5k. Yeah, that's true. You can't really use the Finwood with Larsa. Well, yeah, Wind can go with FF10. Wind, wind goes... Oh, FF, FF10 Earth. Yeah, but the LeBlanc combo, I've always... Found, like, I've tried it, because I love LeBlanc. i tried it, but I've always found that they're just a little bit too clunky. Right, so, Sigwaradas, Cannoneer, Sank, Dancer, Dancer, Berserker, Mystic Knight, Foil Ren, Odin, Rubicante, Kagnazo, King Tycoon. Uh, when he enters play, search... It's an EX Burst Searcher for three, which isn't terrible. Search for Faris or Lena. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, he makes Lena better. He makes Lena a lot better. But yet again, we're wind water again. <laughs> so that's unfortunate. Okay, seven boosters. Oh, you're going to be nice to me. Give me, uh, like, Deuce, Seguarides, Ephemeral Summoner, uh, Imaginary Brawler, Gladiator, Queen, D Grand Soldier. Okay, give it to me now. Oh, Oracle. <laughs> Bupkis. For Barbaricia, Scarming Leone, Cagnazzo, and Azazat. Well, that was put, that was a very uninteresting booster. Okay. Vivi, Blue Mage, Cannoneer, Ninja, Yuffie, Pelinor, Kata, Foil, give it to me now. No. Aresia. I mean, that picture is much, much nicer than the last ones. Much nicer. Sephiroth, Aresia, Easy Yoi, Speak of the Devil. There you go, Artie. There's your guy. There's your Faris. <laughs> she is indeed a pirate. EX burst. When she enters play, you may search for a Sildra and your hand. If you control Lena, she gets a thousand power. Nice and simple. But uh, the trouble is, is like if you're going to play King Tycoon, Faris, and Lena, you have to play Tricolor, which is like. Ugh. Okay, so Black Mage, Replica, Geomancer, Amina, Luca, Dragoon, White Mage, Foil Time Mage. Fine. Ifrit, <laughs> eight. Masked Woman's a really, really good card. That's the first one we pulled, actually, those. Um, when she comes into play, choose a dull forward of cost four or less and break it. And Azirimus. Okay, I have three boosters left. I'd like at least one more legend. One more. One more would be lovely. I would be happy with one more. Okay, so Sky Pirate, Black Mage, WRO member, Sank, Cloud, Mystic Knight, Dancer, Foil Atomos. Arisha, Ifrit, 8, Trey. Trey's really cool. 4 drop, 8k. Um, if Trey is active, he can't be targeted by abilities. If he's dull, he can't be targeted by summons. That's really cool. Um, he's really simple, but I think Wind does require... He's all, it's nice that it's a Type-0 unit that doesn't require being in a Type-0 deck. 
One more. Okay, right. Seguarides, Cannoneer, Dancer, Deep Grass Soldier, Deep Grass Soldier, Lenora, Cannoneer. Okay. No way. <laughs> Did you see that? Ah! <laughs> no way! <laughs> yes! Work, bitch! <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> Oh, I'm really happy now. <laughs> right, so, Foil Kucha, apparently. Masked Woman, Edward, Quacho Queen, and Double Legend Pack again, and it's X-Death. Okay, I couldn't care less about X-Death at the moment because we pulled this bitch. <laughs> Screw your X-Death, no one cares. Foil I was gonna say, yeah, all the FF9. Okay, right, so, last pack, last pack. I'm not still do a legend, X-Death is a legend. He's a legend. I was gonna say, he's, he's not a particularly good legend, but he is one. Although a lot of people seem to like him. I think he's just like the definition of a win more card, isn't he, really? Like, if you're that far ahead that you can pay S7 lightning on a 5 drop guy, then... Great. <laughs> well done. I was gonna say, the Kuja, the Kuja makes me happy. I think everybody knows that the Kuja makes me happy. Okay, so this last pack can't possibly beat that, so that's fine. We're just easy mode now. The last pack is lovely. It's nice. Right, Red Mage, Knight, Simulacrum, Geomancer, Luca, WRO member, Thief, Foil Faris? I'm down with that. That's fine. I'm happy. Faris, Zangetsu, Amaranth, Aiko, and Kefka. Kefka's really interesting. Really interesting. Um... It's really good with Shantotto, but not an awful lot else. But if you have a Shantotto out, it's an 8k Brave Attacker for two. But I would rather, honestly, if I'm playing Earth, instead of running this, just run a Dark Knight. Because it's more likely to be more powerful than Kefka. But, so yeah, that's everything. That's all the boosters. And I now have to clear up loads of rubbish. But, let's put this, let's stuff all these packets in the box. No deleter. No deleter. Never mind. Because I do think the deleter is probably going to be the money card in the set. Do I care? Not really. <laughs> okay, so let's go through what we've actually managed to, ac to accumulate. Like I said, first of all, we've got the legends. So we have Xdef, who I'm not particularly keen on. Zack. Zack's okay. Genesis is a card that I did actually want because I plan to play it. I, well, it's funny that you say that actually there. I was actually planning to build something. I want to build something ice. Because I've played Earth or Water for the last two sets, and um, I want to do something different. Like I, I was looking at either Ice Wind, Ice Fire, or Ice Lightning, and they'll all be very, very different. Um, Ultima, Ultima is. I'm happy I have an Ultima. Uh, Ramza, again, I'm happy I have Ramza. I think he's really good. Um, I think he's gonna like surprise a lot of people. Much, I mean, Renoa was was really popular last set. And I don't think that she's going to be very popular so much now because there's too many good ice forwards. But um, Ramza, uh, well, Ramza has the same problem. It's not like Lightning's missing good cards. But I do actually really like Ramza. I think he has a lot of synergies with a lot of good cards. Um, yes, yeah, so it was lovely to see you there, Dorian. I'll speak to you on Sunday. I'll see you then. And um, yeah, no, hopefully I'll actually be able to trade some of this stuff. I would say because gonna need to get me another two of these. <laughs> Aerith, I actually like Aerith, this Aerith as a one-off. I didn't actually touch on Aerith very much when I pulled her because she's kind of like a whatever kind of legend. But she's uh, cost two if you have an FF7 card out. No one cares. Um, and the forwards you control can't be chosen by your opponent's backup abilities. I actually did note this on my last video where it's all about... Um, you know, the, you, your guys won't be able to be targeted by things like Rao Bard, And I think that, te uh, that um, Teller's going to start seeing more play. Um, I, I, so it's it's an interesting kind of counterplay, and I like that. Um, thank you very much. And yes, you are right. The foil Kuja. I, I the picture. I we'll get to him in a second. And then Lena. Lena is one that I'm like less happy with. The only legend that I really wanted that I didn't get was Garnet. I really wanted Garnet. Um, hopefully I'll be able to trade for them. Or, I mean, I still have quite a lot of trades from Opus One and Two, so hopefully I'll be able to trade for a Garnet or three. Um, and yeah, that would be really nice. I mean, I also do try and chase after like three of every foil in every set. So I'm obviously going to try and do as much as I can. But um, 
I I don't like the Yuffie that much. She's okay, but she rec but like if you don't have a Vincent out, she's just dead in your hand. Like I think that that card, the combo's fine. It's not broken or anything like that. I just don't really like it. Yeah, Lena Lena is really going to be good in the future. I don't know that she's particularly good now, um, be purely because you kind of have to have a searcher for her realistically because you need to use her S ability and ha only having three copies of her being a 5 CP unit means you're probably not going to be able to run any other 5 CP units like your Cecil, um, Ultimecia who I know isn't very popular anymore but there's loads of 5 CP units now what does pants mean? oh it's crap, it's no good excuse my Englishisms <laughs> it's trash it's garbage, there you go um Okay, so then we got, and then we did get four foil legends as well, which is which is nice. Um, Prish, I don't like the Prish very much. I, I mean, she's okay, but there's other like Golbez. She's not. She, she's not Golbez basically. If like for something that's six CP and that powerful, I would expect an ability akin to Golbez, and this isn't that ability. So I don't think that she's going to see very much play. Vivi, we all know, is a little bit crappy unfortunately but I again as an FF9 fan I'm really pleased that I have him um, and I'm certainly not a like, lot I, I don't I'm not the kind of player that goes like after cards for their price tags because I like to make cards into having a price tag if that makes sense like while everybody's off fawning over certain card that's everyone's hyped up I'd much rather be looking at the cards that are slightly fallen under the radar and then um, you know take people out. I've done it before, like, you know, I, I'd like to think that I've done it before with Ultimecia, and I know she's got popular now, but she was at the time, or she was, everyone said that she was terrible, and then I played her and did pretty well with her, then everyone played her for a little while, and now everyone thinks she's terrible again, which is fine. She is pretty terrible now, if you ask me. Um, Ramza, again, I'll say we've got two Ramza, and then my baby boy. I will say, I actually, like, one of the reasons I wanted this card quite so badly is... Um, the artwork for it is to die for. I absolutely adore the artwork for this. It's so painterly. Like I, mean, I was like, um, the background's really nice. The birds and everything. It's like it just it shows him being a very very like likable character. But I just think he's really cool and I love him. I don't know why I love Kuja quite so much, but I do. I think it's the theatricality of him. It's not. It's not necessarily the way he looks, although it helps. So like, I, I am very, very partial to androgynous characters, like Vega from Street Fighter, or Kuja, uh, things like that. I am partial to that, so I, I really like him. But then, what about foils? How do we do for foils in terms of heroes? So we got Ferris, uh, foil heroes. Come on. I only got one door gun as well. That was kind of sad. Zazat. That's something I was actually very happy with as well. The foil start as a Dan. I'm actually really happy with that. Um, Zeramus is a hero. Uh, no. Uh, White Tiger, let's see. Nimbus. Oh, I didn't actually get very many. I didn't get very many foil heroes at all. Just five, which usually you get more than that. Yeah, that's not too bad. Right, well, anyways, I'm actually going to head out because I've now got to go and get heavy for uh, go and get ready for work. But thank you very much, everybody, for joining me while I've been opening this box. And I'll, I will be uploading this to, to YouTube as well. And um, if, uh, was, unless you're watching this on YouTube, then in which case I already have. <laughs> but yes, like I said, thank you very much for watching. And uh, don't forget to come and find me on YouTube if you haven't already. And come and subscribe to my channel. Or you can follow me on the Twitch if you haven't already. Because I've actually, you guys have been really great today. So thank you very much for coming. And I'm going to speak to you guys soon. So see you guys later. Bye now.